Thank you so very much, Dr. Anita, to you also, Dr. Vidya, to Nidhi, a constant friend of the EAE. I'm extremely happy to be here personally and send very warm greetings on behalf of the EAE um, to be participating in this incredibly interesting event. I'm just glancing at the chat box and I'm seeing greetings from Cyprus, Nigeria, Amsterdam, Argentina, Kashmir. You have convened a highly international group and I think a very exciting topic. Um, it, to wrap up you know, the work that you've been doing this week on your fifth International Higher Education Conference. Indeed, the reimagining internationalization blended education as a catalyst is the overarching theme for your discussions, but we are kicking now off now track uh, six in this uh, stream of conversations, very specifically around evolving networks and partnerships for supporting internationalization in these volatile times. And I very much like that terminology of volatile times. It is very hard to know what's coming around the corner every day that we're waking up. Um, I am delighted to be your chair for this session and I'm extremely pleased to be in conversation on this topic today with three colleagues who bring a wealth of expertise and insight to the conversation that we'll be having today. I realize that there is ample information about their profiles in the conference um, uh, information that you've received, but I would like to take a, a couple of moments just to point to the backgrounds and um, positions that our speakers hold. I think it offers a really interesting insight into the range of perspectives that they bring to this conversation and, and the combined um, expanse of knowledge that they, that they offer us. 